Hey guys, what's up? It's John here again, and um, ever since my most requested video ever since I started making these videos was making a merchanting guide, because my first video I talked about how I made um, my like hundred, couple hundred mil and like my sand and stuff on my first account merchanting, and like every, and all my update videos, everybody wants to know how I make my money, and I always say merchanting, and everybody always asks for a merchanting guide, and let me tell you guys, I'm not an expert, people seem to like think I am or something, but like, I'm really not that great, I lose half the time, I, I, you know, I mean like, I don't always make money, but I'll try to, um, try to help you guys out a little bit, cause, alright, so this is gonna be like a little merchanting series, cause there's so many different ways to merchant, and like, I'm, you know, it's, I'm not gonna explain them all in one video, I'm gonna try to keep these each, make like a few short videos, so anyways, you never want to merchant with money that you uh, are trying to spend, so like, I just took out 50 mil out of my bank, and like, this is money that I'm not using, so like, it's not a big deal if I don't have it for a little bit, and also, an another question I'm sure you guys are going to ask is like, oh, I only have like a couple hundred K, um, I can't merchant and stuff, like, yeah, you can, just, just merchant things like logs and runes and stuff that like, aren't as expensive and like you're not gonna make as much money but like you'll get there and yeah that's how I um ended up making my money the first time but so anybody can merchant and there's not like one particular thing that you have to merchant or whatever people always ask what I should merchant you can pretty much merchant anything I like to do things like like logs and like ores raw materials things like that and also I've been liking glories and dragon hatchets recently too but um so the first thing that I know you guys already know about is is this page right here. You just go to the home page and you click Grand Exchange. As the price of every item and like graphs on graphs on whether they're like rising and falling. So these are always good to have open when you're picking your items and stuff for merchanting. I'm just gonna explain what merchanting is real quick actually. Um merchanting is like just buying items and then selling them for more. So I like to think of myself as kinda of like a pawn shop when I do it. So the type of merchanting I'm going to explain today is one of the more risky kinds, but it's also the kind that you can make more money doing. So um, today, um, what what I'm doing right now is I'm finding an item that's like falling in price or raising in price, and I'm gonna buy a lot of that item and hope it goes up. So what I found is dragon hatchets. If you see the graph right here, see how like it goes. I'll show you the 90 grade. So on the 90 day graph here, you can see how much it fluctuates, right? And if you look at it right now, you can see it's going down right now. If you look at the history, you'll see that it goes down, then goes back up. So it looks like it's been going down for a while. So I'm going to try to buy like maybe 10 of these and hopefully it'll go up a couple hundred K and then I'll make a couple mil, I think. I'm not good at math, but like I'll make some money doing that. So instead of buying all 10 at once, I'm going to buy um, one, and I'm going to see like how much it sells for, because that's that's going to give me an idea of um, of like which direction the price is heading. So like, I based on the graph, it didn't look like it would return to like how much it was before. But um, since it's still going down, I'm going to buy it for a little bit under the mid price and. Actually, I'm just going to buy one for the mid-price see how much they sell for, because they might be going back up now already. Yeah, so that, that sold for uh, 105k, you know, so I'm going to buy nine more for that much. So you can see I'm buying I'm buying nine for uh, like one point one I'm just gonna say like one point one mil because I, I don't really care about the extra ten k um, so yeah it's it's gonna be like so I'm I'm just gonna everything that you buy you want to take a note of how much you bought it for so like you know just like as a reference so use this note thing I'm wearing dragon hatchet. I'm running one uh, 1.1 M and so I know I bought all of them for 1.1 mil each and I'll know like to sell them for more than that when they go back up so I just looked over that clip and I feel like I did a terrible job explaining that but so I'm just gonna do a quick recap 
if for this type of merchanting, I just buy items that look like they're either that they're gonna go up in the next few days, and then I'm gonna sell them once they go up. And I just take a little note of how much I bought for it, and I'll sell it for a little bit more because I think it'll, you know. But um, so I won't bring up this this graph for a dragon hatchet again real quick because I I feel like I did a bad job explaining. If you got the, but like I I want to compare it to a different item that would be bad to merchant. So see. So I I think I did it right, but see like how this price keeps going up and down, up and down, and how right now it's down. So I'm guessing it'll go back up. And if I have like ten of these when it goes back up, I'll make the money that I sold, you know. But see, I don't want you to get something confused with like a whip, because right now, see whips are just going down. Right, it started up here, and it's just crashing. This isn't gonna go up anytime soon, so you don't want to buy something like this. You see the difference? So, like, for this type, you just buy something that looks like it could go back up, and then sell it once going back up. That's the best way I can explain it. So, like, really, merchanting is really easy. You just buy things that look like they're gonna go up in value, and then you sell them for once they're up in value. That's like basic merchanting. That's like classic merchanting right there. Um, next, I think next week around this time, I'm going to make another merchanting guide on flip merchanting, and that's the more popular kind right now, and it's it's more easy if you're like online a lot of the time, and it's more easy to make quick turnaround profits, so subscribe if you want to see that. Also, I make like these weekly update count update videos, so you might want to check those out too. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm sorry, this one was like kind of quick and undetailed because I'm kind of in a hurry right now, but... There's there's another one coming soon, so alright, thanks. But So I was looking over that video real quick and I realized I left one thing out. Um never put all your money into one item in case that one item like crashes and then you don't want to be broke. Alright, I thought thought I'd throw that in there just so no one got mad at me if they for some reason lost all their money. Cause like merchanting is a risk, by the way. Alright, anyways, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for my video next week. Alright, bye.